Hey everybody and welcome back to Fallout 3. You join us in the Jefferson Memorial. Just heading down to drain the intake pipes, which my dad has assured me is not dangerous. Not dangerous at all. Multiple times. So yeah, I'm sure we're going to be fine. Just make our way down this way. Technically, you don't have to crouch. Move up here. And just flip the switch. Just head through this gate. Gate's locked. That's weird. Oh. Th that's not good. Yes, perfectly safe in these intake valves. Not actually true, by the way. If you mess up this fall here, you can actually take some damage. But. So yeah, the Enclave has attacked. I'm so surprised by this twist. No, I'm joking. I've played this game a bunch of times, so I'm not surprised. I was surprised the first time, though. I thought we were... They do a real good job of lulling you into a sense of, like... Hey... There's nothing going on here. Wait for that guy to turn away. Because we can't shoot him through the grate, but we can drop down here. Move forward quietly. Back to hidden. Good to know. Make sure our light's turned off. Don't forget to do drugs before you fight guys in power armor with a BB gun. That's for my benefit, not for use. Pick up that insta mash. Alright, so. We're going to pop some Psycho. Or Addicted, whatever. Chat. Fire Ant Nectar. Med X. We're going to do our best to get a good headshot. And I missed. Maybe if we're lucky, he won't see us. Oh, he's coming for us. We're just going to have to start firing. If he can't see us, die, Enclave Soldier. I'm hoping that we'll get the uh, mysterious stranger to pop up and help us out with this guy. Ah, uh, Curl Strike, not bad. Weirdly enough, even though they're wearing power armor, these guys are not are scarier because than super mutants because they have more damage. They're not as tough, so that's nice to hear. We're just gonna rest right here until our AP recharges and go back up and put another round of shots into his head. Oh, never mind, he came to us. Haha! -ha! Take that, nerd. So yeah. Um, we're gonna take his stuff. Sadly, we can't afford to the weight to carry his armor, but take his laser gun because we can trade that to the uh, um, Brotherhood Outcasts. That's one guy down. Make our way quietly up to the next part. Gonna move over this way try not to engage because there's a reason I didn't kill that turret that's over in this direction when we came through the first time around one it's because I'm bad at killing turrets and two it's because we can actually use it to kill these guys we're gonna have to fight that other guy on a one-on-one -on -one basis basically if they come after us too much We'll sprint over to the turret, but yeah. You might be able to just stealth past these guys. I've never actually tried. But uh, since you have to come through here later, I'm pretty sure that we have to clear this out. Let's give it a shot. Let's just move past this guy without causing any trouble. The 
facility is now under United States government control. The person in charge is to step forward immediately and turn over all materials related to this project. That's quite impossible. This is a private project. The Enclave has no authority here. I'm going to have to ask you to leave at once. Am I to assume, sir, that you are in charge? Yes, I'm responsible for this project. Then I repeat, sir, that you are hereby instructed to immediately hand over all materials related to the purifier. I'm sorry, but that's... Furthermore, you are to assist Enclave scientists in assuming control of the administration and operation of this facility at once. Colonel, is it Colonel? I'm sorry, but the facility is not operational. It never has been. I'm afraid you're wasting your time here. Sir, this is the last time I am going to repeat myself. Stand down at once and turn over control of this facility. Colonel, I assure you that this facility will not function. We have never been able to successfully replicate test results. I suggest you comply immediately, sir, in order to prevent any more incidents. Are we clear? Yes, Colonel. I'll do whatever you want. There's no need for more violence. Then you will immediately hand over all materials related to this project and aid us in making it operational at once. Very well. Give me a few moments to bring the system online. My patience wears thin. Just another minute and I'll be done. Oh no, surprise! My dad blew up rather than give it to a crazy man. But dad, no! No, dad! Don't die! Alright, time to run. Jamie. He's gone. Yup. We have to get out of here. They'll be coming for us next. We've got to evacuate now. Okay. There's an old tunnel that will lead us out of here to someplace safe. We used it as an evacuation route once before, but that was a long time ago. I hope everyone remembers how to get there. There isn't time to round everyone up. Come on, follow me, and hurry! Okay, Dr. Lee. You can run if you want. I'm gonna sneak. So you head out through the this way, following Dr. Lee. You gonna attack me? I don't know if I can get past this guy without a stealth board. Look the other way. Start patrolling or something. Okay, now we're back to hidden. He went the other way. And we'll just follow her downstairs. Oh! That was not what I was expecting. So, drugs? Psycho. Jet. Medics. I'm addicted to medics too. Great. Hopefully, all those other guys that are over there aren't going to run towards me, just this one. There we go. Yeah, we didn't have to clear out this entire area, I guess. Take his laser rifles in there and his man, his fusion cells again. If I had more carrying capacity, I'd be taking more stuff, but I don't. So, hey, Doctor Lee. Do? Don't wander off. We're going to need you. I'm not wandering off. You heard me. We need you right now. You're the only one here with any amount of combat experience. I use a we've BB gun. we behind us, and who knows what ahead of us. If we're going to make it through here, we need your help. I hate you, Dr. Lee. 
We need to stick together, but we need to move quickly. We'll follow behind you, all right? Let's get moving. Okay. We'll be right behind you. Be careful. Bunch of other dudes. Could care less if they all die. And I can't give them any weapons if I remember correctly. Um, that's not good. Enclave I bought. I think that goes hostile. Not sure though. What's this? Just rads. Just lovely, lovely rads. If I get a clear shot on that enclave I, uh, I bought, I'm gonna take it because. I just pushed myself. Yes, I did. Um, eat some food. Are you coming back this way? Well, where'd, where'd the bits of the robot go? I, I was hoping it had loot. Anyways, open this door, move in quietly. Oh, don't go this way. I said don't go this way, nerds. Dude, chill. What am I supposed to do? Yep, so we're just going to make our way through the tunnel slowly here. There's a locked door up ahead. I can open it, but it'll take some time. You do that. Grab some stuff out of this first aid box with a hand on top. Yeah, we're, we're not going to make these guys mad. There's no reason to. We're just going to sit here. Be stealthy. Be stealthy, dude. Can't open it that way. Very hard. She'll get that. Normally these guys are supposed to see you and start firing you. By the way, but not this time, I don't think. I don't think there's anything good in there either. I'm not sure. I know that somewhere in this area there's an iBot helmet that I want. But, uh, yeah, we'll go this way. See ya, nerds. Ghouls, but we can solve that problem. Ghoul mask goes on. And ghouls are friendly. I wonder if they're friendly to you guys. Answer is no. But we can do something about that. If you shoot one ghoul, the other ones do not become hostile, which is super useful. Daniel, stop standing in the way of my shot. This is hopeless. Sorry, Daniel. Why don't you guys have masks made from the flesh of other ghouls? 
Yeah, Daniel Aaron Gord died. It happens. I'm not super upset. He's a jerk. New one is closed, though. Plus five repair. Alright, so we'll just keep heading this way. Do my best not to, uh... Ooh, biker goggles. Put those on. Our D up goes up by one. Worth it. Need some more at me, so I'm not over capacity. I guess we'll shoot this dude before he takes out the rest of the group. Let me get behind you, though, so they can get sneak attack. Hold still, dude. Oh, come on, guys. Technically, I could tell them to wait, I, which I should. I'm just not. Good job, Mysterious Stranger. I'd feel more upset, but Daniel... Uh, the, Daniel was a jerk. Alright, let's continue forward. We can't go any further. We need to... Why? Garza has a heart condition. He needs medicine or he may not make it. I'm not moving until he gets the medicine he needs. Then stay down here and rot. I don't have sufficient medical supplies with me, or else this wouldn't be a problem. If you have any stim packs, I would ask that you hand them over. Uh. Here. Take some stim packs. Yes, this looks to be enough. He'll need medical attention once we've reached the Citadel, but this will get him there. Thank you. Give me a moment and we can continue. So yeah, we lost five stim packs. You can either leave them behind or... Yeah, but uh... Whatever. He's probably gonna die anyways. So. Specifically in this room. Because when you make your way into this room... Uh... Enclave appear right there. Ow. Ow. Plasma rifle. Dude, take out the dude with the plasma rifle if you have a chance. First. Um, we're gonna put back on our real helmet. Oh, they have the same DR. I had no idea. Eh. Don't want the ghoul mask to break. Might as well. Oh, it probably because it's such low DR currently. It's because it's not repaired very well. Um, what do we got? Damage plus 10%. I forgot Yahoo by Meat was awesome. So we're going to take that. Take some more Psycho. Mad X, Jet. Start putting bullets into these guys' faces. Ow. I, I really like that armor, by the way. Whatever it's called. That's my favorite. Wow, these guys are wrecking us. Let's see if we can get that gun out of his hands. We might just walk past these guys. Come on, guys. Go that way. I will sit here and get shot for you. Alright, continue forth. Yeah, we got no reason to actually fight these guys. Ah, here we go. I bought a helmet. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, we look awesome. Alright, let's go. Nobody here. Oh, and there's feral ghouls up that way, so we're actually going to Back on the ghoul mask. Oh, he doesn't like me for some reason. Maybe I didn't put it on soon enough. Oh, 
There we go. Alright. We will continue forth. I heard somebody get vaporized earlier. I wonder what happened. Well, those guys are still up there. We're not going to fight them, though. No reason to fight guys in power armor if we don't have to. We're just going to ignore them and keep moving. Um, I am going to do my best to take out the ghouls before my friends have to deal with them. Oh, that's creepy. I didn't need to see that. We'll continue forward. Yep, here's a dead uh, Enclave soldier. Doesn't have the cool armor, though, so whatever. There's a room over here with some good stuff in it. Including some drugs. I'm over encumbered. Uh, eat iguana bits and insta mash. There we go. Alright, we'll continue forward. Sneak attack critical, drops a feral gruel in one hit. That, that's actually really reassuring. Roamer, let's see if we can get multiple sneak attacks to the back of his head before he turns around. Nope, but multiple critical hits. I know we're supposed to be friends, but I can't have you killing the other people. I thought just a body shot would drop him. Would you shut up? I'm wasting so many BBs killing friend Ghoul for your uh, safety, so shut up. Ooh, Quantum. That's worth picking up. Oh, I didn't see you there. Whatever, I'll let you go fight the other guys. Multiple sneak attacks are hard to do, but when you do get them, they feel really good. So yeah, we're going to open this door up here. And there's a Brotherhood of Steel dude. And then a bunch of ghouls rush him down. And I think we're at the levels he should be fine. Compared also with the turrets involved. Stop following me, Dr. Lee. I'm going to go look for Lou. I'll be right back. Eh... Oh, I am withdrawing like crazy. I just want to see what's over here. Stay here. What is it? Are you sure? Stay. They'll be fine. I thought I remember there being something good down here. Oh, a glowing one. Oh yeah, it's a safe. That's it. Oh well. Got some decent money in it. Hey, glowing one. You guys stay, stay put, okay? You can also get to that uh, ammo box somehow. I just can't remember how. Jumping puzzles, not this Fallout 3 strong suit. Are you being annoying? Alright. Oh, this gun's in low condition. Might as well switch. 
Kim. Let's check and see if there's anything totally worth taking. All right, let's go. I don't know where they ran to, but I'm pretty sure if you go up here and go up the ladder, they'll just appear with you no matter what. Not, I can always head back down. There we go. I'll just follow Dr. Lee. Sorry about your Daniel. Not really. Sorry, kinda. I am Dr. Madison Lee. I have people with me in need of shelter. You must allow us access at once. I'm sorry, ma'am. No unauthorized civilians allowed inside the Citadel. You'll have to leave now. Liar! I know you're in there! I know you can hear me! You open this goddamn door right now! And finally, we have access to the Citadel. So, uh, I'm gonna call it a part here, and join us in the next episode as we head into the Citadel and get something super awesome. Bye!